Hello everybody and welcome in to Emily's Upcycled Home. I am so glad you have joined me for today's video. You hear I take salvage items and thrifted items and turn them into beautiful pieces to decorate your home with. Let's go ahead and jump into our first project here which is this cute little vase or flower pot that I am going to give a different look using French linen by Dixie Belle as well as coming in with some sea spray texture additive additive also by Dixie Bell and we are going to give this cute little piece a cement style plaster kind of look here and give it a high-end makeover so you see I'm just coming in with my French linen paint here as well as a little bit of that sea spray texture additive and I'm thoroughly mixing those two products up to give me a thick pasty kind of consistency here into my paint. The other thing I'm also going to do to add even more texture to our piece is use a stippling mo motion here with my paintbrush and that's going to give me little peaks and valleys and make it look more cement or a plaster kind of look here. So I'm going to continue on with this process of layering and stippling on our thick paste here that we created. And I am using a small brush just because I have a little bit more control over it, getting into all those little pleats and all the little decorative parts of this planter here. Now this is more of a French country style or a higher end look that I am going for. So you guys will have to let me know in the comments, did I achieve that fancy fancy look here or was it just a dud? But once again, continue on with your stippling motion throughout your piece and then we'll move on from there. So now that we have our piece all painted up, I want to come in with the first layer of DIY clear wax, which is going to give us that base layer to mix in other waxes here. I don't want to just come in with my dark wax right away. I want a softer look here. So instead of coming directly with my dark wax like I usually do, I'm going to give this a base coat of that clear wax and then follow that in with our DIY dark wax, just so that the dark wax is, has an easier time spreading into all the little crevices here because I am going with a lighter look with my waxes and a little bit more softer um, look as well. So once I get these dark wax into the pleats, I'm going to use my little rag or a little piece of fabric here and spread that into the grooves and the pleats here where I added. Just giving it a softer look and a little bit of dimension as well. Now you can also just come in with your plain DIY dark wax without that clear wax and it'll it will give it a little bit of a different look as well a little of a harsher look but I wanted a softness to this piece with adding that wax so I did decide to come in with that clear wax now you see little paint pieces and pieces missing off this piece and I don't mind that I just think it adds a little bit of um a little bit of a different chippy element to this piece as well so we're just going to go with that as well but if that bugs you you can come back in with a little bit of sealant and reapply your paint there so we're going to continue on with building up our layers here with our dark wax getting into all those little grooves coming in under the detailing as well as on top of the detailing and separating those pleats out as well and that's just going to give us a little bit more defined look and then we're coming in with this greenery here that i thrifted and we're going to add that to our pot and here is that finished look you see it that textured paint the dark wax highlights you know pronouncing those pleats and those little definitions of the pot and that beautiful greenery that just brightens up everything giving it that french country vibe if you guys like my products and my style so far, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell and help my channel grow. For our next project, we are coming in with this mirror. Now I'm gonna keep on track with this higher end look here, but you guys are gonna have to bear with me with this project because it took a while for me to figure out what it wanted to be. But first I'm gonna come in with this folk art paint that you just get at Hobby Lobby. And I want a deeper tone here. This I originally got these a while ago. They've been in my house and they just have this cream color on top with a little bit of that gold 
underneath pulled forward but i want to go in with a deeper more moody tone to this piece with a lot of layers a lot of textures and we'll see if we can pull that off and you notice through this process i really don't know yet which direction i'm gonna go with i just know i want that dark moody look with textures and everything so after i get this painted i decide you know what let's go ahead and try some cinnamon and see what that does so i just powder on that cinnamon to that dark black background there using my paintbrush and just mixing that up and you guys see my crafters file here i am dipping my whole paintbrush with that cinnamon back in that paint you guys go ahead and make a separate bowl for your paints don't be like me because then now it's all mixed up so as i get that cinnamon on i'm coming in with my rag and you see me i'm very harshly wiping because i want to get down to the layers of everything and then i think like okay this is looking good it looks a little bit like a galvanized underneath there and i do have some galvanized metal in my house so i'm kind of thinking like what would i put this in my house or not and then that was like no emily let's come in with another color so once again i come in with that folk art in the color mocha and i go ahead and layer that brown color that brown tone doing that same thing applying it and wiping off a lot of that excess also and then i decide to come in with some diy dark wax and mix in and layer up that mocha have that dark wax on top of that mocha now everything is wet here and i like to work with wet paint especially when i'm layering because it'll pull and tug on parts that are wet giving you this natural kind of distress pulling method here just like i pointed out up there and that to me looks a little bit galvanized there so and then i decided no i'm really not getting the look i want so i come in with some dixie bell gold gilding wax here and i add that to the detailing especially where all those grooves are and all the detailing on the corners that little bead, beaded detailing around the inner rim around all the edges the outside rim where it has that more detailing and i'm just looking at this and i'm just all like this is not speaking to me yet as to okay it's not done you guys so we're just gonna keep working with this and we are going to keep layering until it says yes emily here i am hear me roar because it's not yet it's not there yet you guys so like i said bear with me bear with me please with this craft hang on tight and if you guys like this look here you can stop here there's no um rhyme or reason there's no like keep going for you if this is the look you like you can stop with this technique here and then i decide it's coming with some white folk art paint and see what happens here i might now get the look that i want so i just come in once again with that white folk art dipping my brush into that paint and rubbing that into our look here and you notice it kind of blends all the colors and it turned this gray color with some brighter white places as well so i just continue layering on that piece getting up those edges and just you know just going for it and you notice i do get my rag and wipe it and then here's that finished look we got going on in that corner and then lastly i come back in with my diy dark wax and kind of just darken that inner frame working to give it a little bit more definition and define from that inside frame to that outside frame and give it a little bit more of a layered look not a big contrast but somewhat a contrast but you guys did you see that beautiful corner i'm loving that look there look at that so you guys let me know if you like this look or not where would you have stopped or no emily this is just a hot mess girl just go home <laughs> but now the decision is i want to put a wreath here you guys and i know my mirror is not clean it's not there yet we're not done at that point but i'm impatient so i'm just looking at it and i want to build some of this gold labeling here from ild because i want to pull out some of that gold but i do want the wreath and then maybe some of that gold lettering on the bottom or we can add a bigger piece 
so many decisions you guys so let's go ahead and take a break and talk about our craft fair at the station or i'm crafting with the hot mess express group page so make sure you give us a follow there that'll be on october 11th and all times are eastern but we're gonna have handcrafted items upcycled items vintage items as well as thrifted finds so many different sellers you guys from 12 15 eastern to 6 15 eastern and this is an auction style event so please come in come meet our sellers don't forget to do that little bit of math there because it's eastern remember auction style crafting with the hot mess express go follow our page and we'll see you guys there october 11th okay you guys moving on with our piece i think i decided what i wanted but first we want to make sure that we thoroughly clean this glass so i'm just coming in with some glass cleaner here and my paper towel and i'm going to give this a few clean wipes here reapplying my spray and then re wiping it down because i do want to make sure that mirror is thoroughly clean and those edges are well are free from all that paint and everything so i am just coming in with my little popsicle stick here and scraping off all that excess that i got on the mirror now i decided to come in with the ild foil transfers and the curated signage booklet so I'm going to choose one that I want and you know I'm going to go with this pretty lady here you guys and I decided to put the frame or mirror vertically I originally wanted it horizontal but we are going to go vertical for this piece I'm just going to rip out my desired image here and remember you want to make sure that you got your placement good because once you start sticking this down to your mirror it's really really going to stick so make sure you got your placement take off your backing and then add your image onto your mirror now this is the first time i'm using these foil transfers here but they work like any other ild transfer you apply that onto your piece you get your handy dandy stick and you just rub on that transfer now I don't have any issues because I don't think the backing is a transfer material. So only thing that's rubbing on here is the image itself. I will continue on with my transfer rubbing that on and I'm going to move slow and steady here. Just pulling up that backing and rubbing as I go because I don't want to mess anything up and this is a larger piece you guys so it is going to take time do not rush the process take your time and make sure all your transfer has stuck to your glass or to your whatever project you are working on so just continue rubbing that on and pulling and tugging your little piece as you go making sure that image is applied nice and neat I'm going to save this piece because I think we can use it for something else. But here's the image on the mirror. Sorry for the reflection in the background. Don't have anything to just show you that upright with that mirror there. And there's all our detailing and our working. But now you guys, I think I need more gold in here to bring out more of that image. So once we got everything situated and I know what project this is, we are going to go and come back in with our Dixie Belle Gold Gilding Wax and we are going to do some more highlighting on our edges of our frame, the corner details, and once again going down that beading work here and applying it to all that engraved detail at the top and also the outside. And I think that will bring in more of that gold and make the frame pop even further and give it a really layered beautiful look here and you guys i decided to go ahead and add some greenery to here i just put a few staples on the side just to attach that and then i'm going to anchor all of this with a beautiful burlap bow here i'm coming in with a strip to make the tails first and then i'm going to come in with another piece of burlap and make the bow here and i'm just folding this 
in half making our little ribbon pleat pieces by gathering it in the center and then wrapping that all with a piece of twine and i made my tails off you know one longer than the other because i thought that would be cute and then i put it there and we need more we need more to this bow you guys so stay tuned in a minute we are going to add more details to our bow and then attach this to our piece and i hope you guys are going to love the bow because i sure did just working with it how i want so i put that inner tail on the inside just so that it doesn't hide all of our image there and then we're going to come in and layer up our bow bringing out a little bit more femininity with a piece of lace here i found this little metal key holder or hole so then i thought we need a key now so i'm going to add this metal key that i thrifted a while ago i'm just going to attach that all with hot glue and first i want to come in and add some gold gilding wax and make this key a little bit more gold we'll lay that there and rub off the excess later i'm gonna pull in some more greenery here and add it to our piece now once i have the look i want and all the pieces i want i came in with a little bit of dark wax there on that little keyhole to just tone down that bright gold and once i have everything how i want you guys i go ahead and hot glue everything down you know adding it and layering up as i laid it down at the beginning by layering the lace and everything on here you add a little bit more elegance and delicacy to that bow now to make everything stay where i want it i just put little dabs of hot glue on my ribbon press that into the burlap and then i did the same thing and added a little hot glue to the back and press that into the corner here holding it in place as the glue sets i'm also going to come in and add a little pleat here and give it a little bit more form and glue in the back of that key just so it stays where i want and here is that finished look you guys i'm sorry i don't have a proper view for you guys not seeing all my background but look at all that layering we did all the detailing in this frame that beautiful transfer from iod that's just gonna pop once you put this in a proper spot you guys that greenery just adds that little touch of life and then that layered bow so if you guys want to shop any of the fusion paint dixie bell chalk paint or any of the iod products please use my affiliate link down in the description to do so okay guys moving on to our last project is a statue or bookend of this guy here now i kind of wish i would have left it this bronzy dark color it did have some imperfections in there but i went ahead and came in with fluff by dixie bell and gave it one thorough coat onto this piece and this was done a while ago i just simply found it this in my stash so we're going to finish it up and add it to this little vignette we're creating here but after i get that white on i want to come in and add some texture like our first project with that same sea spray by dixie bell and our french linen color by dixie bell as well so here is our little guy thinking guy here and we are going to come in and mix our two paints here with that french linen and just adding in a little bit of texture additive and brushing it onto our statue here now i want to add a lot of texture so first i'm going to come in and just kind of put on the paint and then as i layer it in i'm kind of putting my brush strokes in every direction because that will also add some detailing to your product or your project that you have I'm using a smaller brush just to get into all the little nooks and crevices of the piece. I'm not going to worry about a full coverage look here, but I am going to come back in with that stipple motion and add some more texture. So here is our statue, our thinking guy, and then I'm going to come in with that dark wax. And we are going to highlight or add depth to all these creases. And first, 
I thought I wanted to come in really dark in there, but I decided to go ahead and mix a little bit of my white dark wax with my clear wax and just give me a little bit more control over that dark wax as I spread it into this image here. So once again, coming back in and highlighting in those creases. And when you add your dark wax, you do want to come in with your rag and wipe off your excess and work in small spots. You you're working with something so much with so much um, detail here and you want to bring that out you want to work in smaller spots to give you a little bit more time and more control over how you deepen highlight and add a little bit more depth to your piece Let's speed this up a little bit but i did want to show you guys this process here because i want you to see how the image is changing as i layer and add that depth to the piece and then he starts looking a little bit more chiseled a little bit more statue like and a little bit more defined there's hers back there you guys just a simple shading going in with all those little creases where actually you would want them to stand out like the rib cage the arms really pronounce everything out so i'm just going to continue that process and now i bring in my blending brush here just to blend in a little bit more than what that smaller brush does and here is our piece you guys all ready to be staged up and look at how he looks just with these grubby vintage books here brass candle holder and some greenery just a simple look here but you can dress up in your home i think he looks a lot more fancy here with a little bit of a rustic vibe but i just think he came out great and that texture and the definition of that dark wax just really created a statue that i think is great come join my facebook family and watch me create diy projects live and have so much more diy content there as well shop with me on facebook marketplace as well as whatnot or message me directly through my page and we have reached the end of our video my friends so here are the finished projects You can check out last week's video in the description. I'll have that for you as well as on my Saturday bonus video as well. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know which project was your favorite. And on your way out, please hit that like button, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye friends.